The Perth Oil and Gas Company, which is driving to shore up gas for an expansion of its 12 billion US dollar Pluto LNG project on the Burp Peninsula, said it had struck gas at the Remy 1 well in the WA404-P permit. The discovery is 500 meters away from the Martell discovery, which was made in February last year. An analyst estimate could contain 1 trillion cubic feet of gas. The Remy-1 intersected 33 meters and 39 meters of gross gas over two separate zones, Woodside said yesterday. That compared with 110 meters of gross gas intersected at Martell. Woodside recently increased its interest in permit, which also contains the Noblige, Larson and Larson Deep Discoveries, to 100% by buying a 50% stake from the U.S. oil company Hess. New Zealand Oil & Gas said it would provide the 13 million New Zealand dollars balance of 25 million New Zealand dollars facility it had agreed with Pike River in September 2010 this year. The company said it would extend the repayment date and also put a 90-day standstill period on the 28.9 million US dollar it holds in security convertible bonds. Moving on, compared with the flotilla of oil and gas platforms in the North Sea, the waters west of the Shetland Islands are virgin territory. But as the British oil and gas industry declines its production in 2009 at 2.5 meter barrel of equivalent per day, was just over half its 1999 peak remote region have become its last frontier. Even by the standards of North Sea, the environment is wild. High winds, powerful waves and typical currents hamper operations. The region is believed to hold up 25 billion BOE or almost a fifth of remaining total reserves but they lie in freezing waters more than 600 meters deep. The financial and technical risks discourage the massive investment needed to exploit them, at least while the North Sea remained bountiful. That's all the news we have for you as of now. Thank you for watching.